I think their plan in terms of uh, hydrogen right now is what's called gray hydrogen. Uh, fortunately or, or not, uh, I think they're using coal as a base to generate hydrogen, right? Uh, which uh, is, I don't know, is, is that good or bad? I, I think uh, it's not, uh, you know, nowhere as good as, you know, the uh, hydrogen where the carbon is captured. I mean, obviously, if you use hydrogen, um, you know, the benefit, you know, um, comes from uh, sort of life cycle um, reductions in emissions. So, um, you know, so-called gray hydrogen where carbon is not captured, it's, it's not something that uh, advanced industrialized countries are really endorsing. Um, but many countries currently uh, do use, produce and consume gray hydrogen. So it's not just China. But of course, the scale of Chinese uh, potential production, but then also consumption, uh, make it very important that a China, you know, uh, keeps moving away from uh, great hydrogen production and towards uh, not just, you know, uh, renewable based. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, the hydrogen, uh, the hydrocarbon based, uh, carbon captured, but then also renewable based hydrogen. Jane. Uh of course, green hydrogen is the aspirational target here, isn't it? But uh, the reality is fossil fuels will continue to be used in the production process, and it looks like a, a necessary stage. How ultimately is hydrogen going to be priced? What does a hydrogen market look like, and where do subsidies and incentives fit in? I, that's a great question. Um, right at the moment, uh, there is no market to speak of. You know, m uh, most of the hydrogen is uh, produced and consumed on the same site, you know, within, let's say, like the same refinery complex. Uh, and there's virtually no trading. Uh, if any, it's really done in a, within a, a, small, a small region. So I really don't have insight into how much uh, they'll be traded at. Um, but right at the moment, uh, Europe is on the forefront of coming up with exchange or um, market where producers and off-takers uh, will be able to uh, enter into agreement and there'll be actual trading uh, the way that we've seen in both obviously crude oil and natural gas to have become this you know, uh, globally traded commodities. But there's still a long way to go for better or worse, uh, probably for worse uh, from the more climate mitigation um, perspective. Uh, but it's, you know, the, the idea is really to um, right at the moment, demonstrate the commerciality, but uh, it still takes uh, quite a few years because uh, what we're seeing currently are much more of um, government-led initiatives, uh, for example, by you know Australia or Japan or South Korea, where they engage uh, resource-rich countries in Southeast Asia, for example, Indonesia, Malaysia, or um, Brunei, to uh, 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 try to produce clean hydrogen and try to see, you know, how much, um, uh, you know, how cost competitive they could be sort of still taking a lot of um, uh, sort of reference points, if you will, and then try to see how the shipping works out, how the storage works out. Um, so we're still in a very early stage, in my view.